The New Religion of No Religion Introduction Religare is considered a Latin stem for the word religion and has the meaning of binding to tie something with something. In this case, to rebind the human and the divine is the main purpose of a religion. Quora.com The words of Jesus to the scribes and the Pharisees. Jesus was very accurate pointing out the falsehood and hypocrisy of the religious leaders of his own tradition through his criticisms on the scribes and Pharisees that certainly did not teach the law with their own living example to their followers. Matthew 23 King James Version We need not new things to be said to the non-believers other than the wisdom of the biblical scriptures and the New Testament and we don't need to say it to them in a new way either. We only need to establish them with the examples of our lives. On this subject, Davalos 20, 21, page 9, in his book, The Herald of the Risen Christ, Part 3, Salvation in the End of Days, quoted the Apostle Paul of Tarsus affirming that the words of a person with integrity go a long way because our deeds will always have to confirm our words. And in 1 Corinthians 9.27, he acknowledged, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preach to others I myself should be a castaway. King James Version Unfortunately, after Jesus, his apostles and the first Christian communities and patriarchs that were filled by the Holy Spirit, embracing and living the teachings of Jesus Christ, these last 2,000 years, our history have witnessed the annihilation of Christianity. The New Babylon Constantine completely altered the relationship between the church and the imperial government, thereby beginning a process that eventually made Christianity the official religion of the empire. Many new converts were won including those who converted only with the hope of advancing their careers. By the end of the 4th century, therefore, Christianity had been transformed from a persecuted sect to the dominant faith of the empire, and the process becoming intertwined with the imperial government and adopting many pagan customs and traditions. After Constantine took over the Roman Empire, corruption and false notions spread through the Christian Church. The works of man and his law was the new truth, and faith and belief were not important anymore. The worst nightmare of the Apostle Paul of Tarsus took place where the law stirs up disobedience, not obedience to God. Galatians 3, 2, 3, 5, 11, 13, 25. This also applies to all those who today rely on rituals, moral life, scientific progress, intellectual achievements 
physical beauty, financial resources, political power, theological liberalism, or even doctrinal purity. Davalos 2021, From Darkness to Light with the Holy Spirit, pages 10 and 11. Secularization The rationalism of the Enlightenment era alienated many people from the Christian faith, especially among the intellectuals of the 17th and 18th centuries. Britannica.com This historical event prepared the way for the consolidation of materialism, relativism, humanism, and the secularization of many countries in the 20th century. This event precipitated a cultural domestication in which now, in the 21st century, more people than ever before are identifying as atheist, agnostic, or otherwise non-religious with potentially world-changing effects. Secularization is, in a society, basically the disassociation or separation from religious or spiritual concerns. Oxford Languages The process by which sectors of society and culture are removed from the domination of religious institutions and symbols. Peter Berger Holmdott C.S. ULB. EDU, and whereby religious thinking, practice, and institutions lose social significance. Brian Wilson Home. CSULB. EDU. As a result, a cultural transition in which religious values are gradually replaced with non-religious values takes place. Nowadays, many people consider God as a burden, and even though not atheistic, do not follow any established religion. It is simply that they do not consider God necessary to live and carry on with their lives. Actually, it may be a burden, and in many cases, this effortless conclusion comes from pride, and pride triggered the fall of man. To believe in God is not enough, it is simply a nice statement to impress others. But if we do not walk our talk, by following His will in our lives and letting Him run our lives, our destiny and everything we are and wish to accomplish in this world, day after day, with faith and trust, then we're not really following Him with total surrender. Nevertheless, for every one of us mortals, there are consequences for not believing in God in our lives. Living a life without God that is the continuous breath of life of human beings, this person is in danger of becoming a lifeless soul. We live our lives in this world either with God or without God. It is as simple as that. And if we live without God since in this world we are in the domains of Satan, we will live under his influence, and that includes our lack of health and our diseases as a given, due to our voluntary rejection of the giver of life. Our Health and the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is the giver of life, the restorer of life, and the renewer of life. When a person is sick, it the, is the Holy Spirit who can restore again the life that is his gift. 
we do well to pray to the Holy Spirit for healing. In fact, gifts of healing are among the gifts of the Spirit enumerated by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 12.9 healthcareministry.org We need to be conscious of the fact that our body carries the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not just want to empower your body and help you to maintain health. He also wants to flow through you to provide healing for others. Mark 16, 17 to 19. As a carrier of God's power, even though this power flows through you to bring healing to others, it is meant to first work in your own body. ModernCana.com If in our heart we do not have a place for God, the spiritual life of the Spirit of Christ will not flow through your body. And we will be relying only in our material values for where our treasure is, there will our heart be also. Matthew 6:21 King James Version Where is our treasure? Are we going to continue allowing this world of flesh and blood to run our lives? Lives where God do not have a place because it is a burden? And this for 30 pieces of silver? Are we happy with the upcoming future of transhumanism, DNA genetic manipulation, artificial intelligence, and virtual and augmented reality that increases the illusion of the five senses and manipulates our egoic minds and our bodies? Do we want to become this new man or, and these new women? It is our heart in this treasure, because this is the scenario being proposed and imposed to us by an atheist technology run by a team of psychopaths that dream to have total control of our lives. For them, it is not about money anymore. It is about power power over our lives. And who is behind them? Satan. There is another treasure that few find because the entrance door is narrow and the path to it is like a razor's edge. The, this treasure is the one that the Holy Spirit wants to show you speaking through your heart if you allow it. It is a path of spiritual rebirth through water and spirit. It is a birth from above, changing our thoughts and habits to the likeness of Jesus Christ. It is the becoming of a new Adam and a new Eve with no pride and totally surrendered to the will of our Father in heaven. This is the other choice because we have the loving gift of God of a free will. And no, it is not to become a lifeless robot without any freedom of will. It is no more and no less than to become a son of God in the likeness of Christ, just as the Apostle Paul of Tarsus in Galatians 2.20 jubilantly affirmed. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lived in me, and the life which I now live now in the flesh, I live it by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. King James Version The choice is ours 
to make.